The U.S. election result is sending shockwaves on the economic front. While local businesses are bracing for a potential impact, monetary policies around the world may see another turn of events. Shin Zemin zooms in on that ripple effect. Korea's top economic policymakers said Donald Trump's victory in the U.S. presidential election is feared to shake global financial markets and that he'll stand firm to deal with potential risks. Finance Minister Yoo Ho said that the government will remain firm to push forward with the country's fiscal policies. Korea's finance-related officials held separate meetings earlier on Wednesday where they all vowed to cooperate with each other to maintain market stabilization and that the government will take action to curb volatility if necessary. With the change in U.S. leadership, businesses in Korea are also bracing for a shift. Strains on trade between Korea and the U.S. is likely to take place as Trump reiterated the bilateral whole Washington Free Trade Agreement has killed nearly 100,000 American jobs, especially in the auto industry and other key sectors. Thus, renegotiations on the course FTA is expected to be on the table. And if the U.S. decides to put stronger regulations on imports, especially on oversupplied products like steel and chemicals, that could also hurt Korean firms dependent on exports to the U.S., although it may not be an across-the-board problem. Tighter U.S. regulations on imports does not immediately mean a slump in Korea's exports. But it could mean a lot for individual companies doing business with the U.S. Even if a number of firms face higher tariffs, that's still a small portion of Korean firms. On the monetary policy front, Trump's victory could largely trigger uncertainty and volatility in the market, probably even derailing the Fed's December rate hike scenario. Market watchers worry that considering slow pace of growth seen around the world, there seems to be not much room for central banks for a rate cut, bouncing some of the impact by lowering rates as they have done so through the Brexit decision last June. Shin Zemin, Arirang News.